Hey guys, the softest dough for the most amazing manaish with za'atar or jibne. Let me show you how to make them and perfect them and let's get started. And for the most amazing manaish, the dough should be soft and beautiful, the topping so flavorful. But now let's start on the dough. So for the dough, I have six cups of all-purpose flour. To that, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of salt. I mix it in and then I'm gonna add half a cup of olive oil or vegetable oil. It's totally up to you. And for a smoother dough, I like to mix the instant yeast with the water sugar mixture separately. So here I have almost two tablespoons of instant yeast one tablespoon of sugar and two cups of warm water. I let them bloom a little bit and become foamy and then I add them on top of the dough. I'm gonna add a little bit more water. It's gonna take about two to two and a half cups. Every flour is different. It might take a little less or a little more so watch it. You don't want it to be such a tough dough. You want it to be a little sticky, a little shaggy. I knead it for three to four minutes until very very smooth. Cover it and let it rise and double in size. Make sure to oil the pot so it won't stick. Cover it and let it rest. Leave it at least two hours. It's cold in here so it's gonna take a while to rise. You can actually make this dough and refrigerate overnight. This is the dough two hours later. I'm gonna portion the dough and let it rest one more time. And as you can see I added a generous amount of flour. I don't want anything to stick. I'm gonna shape a nice round ball. The dough is super soft and you can cut into eight or six pieces depending on the size that you want. You're gonna shape them just like so. You don't want to add too much flour, just enough. After you shape the whole thing, you're gonna cover them and let them rest one more time for another half an hour. And trust me on this, letting the dough rest and take its time will make for the best and the softest dough ever. If you're liking my recipes and want to see more, please don't forget to subscribe and follow me on social media. The links are gonna be in the description box below. After half an hour, I'm gonna start working on the dough. Now let's talk filling. If you're living in the US, let me give you some options. This is the mozzarella that you don't wanna use, the wet mozzarella, but you wanna use a combination of panela cheese and halloumi cheese. The flavor combo is amazing. You can also use dry mozzarella, but I don't recommend it. The best thing to use is panela and halloumi. I'll be leaving all the amounts in the description box as well. You're gonna need one package of halloumi because it's a little salty and two packages of panela cheese. This is to get the most authentic flavors. And you can also use akawi cheese or nabulsi cheese for this recipe. They both work great. You can find them in any Middle Eastern store easily. Crumble both cheeses finely and set it aside. The filling is ready just like this, but you can add some olives. You can add some mint, dry mint or parsley, or you can leave it the way it is. Now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna mix the za'atar mix. And za'atar is an addictive mix of dried oregano, very finely chopped, mixed in with some toasted sesame seeds, some sumac and some spices. It is so so good. It adds a lot of flavor to so many dishes. It's great on top of flat bread. You're gonna mix it though with lots of great olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, Make a paste and then you're gonna add it on top of the dough. 
The dough has been resting and I preheated the oven to 500 degrees Fahrenheit, a very high temperature. And I'm gonna start working on the dough. I'm gonna bake them inside a cast iron pan. I'm gonna preheat the pan inside the oven. I want it to be very hot. I'm gonna roll the dough. When the dough is well rested, it's gonna roll in no time at all. It's not gonna give you any problems. It is so soft. You want to roll it pretty thin using the rolling pin or you can use your hand just to roll it just like so. You can add the topping of your choice, cheese, za'atar, you can even add some scrambled eggs, pizza toppings, the choices are endless really. It's such a versatile dough, you can do whatever you want really. It's very similar to a pita bread dough. I'm gonna place it on top of parchment just for easy transfer. And I'm gonna let it rest one last time. And yes, you heard me right. I'm gonna let it rest one last time before I add the topping. So I'm gonna roll the rest of the dough, all of it, before I go back and work on the first one. Make sure to cover the dough at all times, you don't want it to dry out. Follow all these tips and you're gonna get an amazing result every single time. The cast iron pan is getting hot in the oven. I finished the whole amount. Now I'm gonna add the toppings. I'm gonna start with some za'atar. Za'atar paste, I'm going to add all over the bread and I'm going to spread it evenly, just like so. I'm going to use my clean hands to make sure it's spread evenly all over the dough and there's not too much of it. Bake inside the hot cast iron pan for 7 minutes or until it becomes golden, just like so. It's gonna take about seven minutes in the oven at 500 degrees Fahrenheit. It smells great and it's gonna taste even better. I'm gonna continue with the baking. I'm gonna make one with cheese. And remember to be very, very careful. The cast iron is very, very hot. I'm gonna sprinkle with some cornmeal to prevent the dough from sticking. Spread the dough, add a generous amount of the cheese, place back in the oven for 7 minutes or until it becomes golden and beautiful and it's gonna be ready. You can give it a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil or a little bit of butter, place in the oven and this is how it's gonna look like. It's gonna be perfect. The dough is well rested, it's been baking in high heat oven, it looks amazing, I love the outcome. I really hope you give it a try soon. You can absolutely bake inside regular rectangular pans or anything you like really, but I like to use the cast iron method, it's so so quick. You can serve with cucumbers, tomatoes, Anything you like really, I like it with a hot cup of tea. Try it, let me know what you think in the comments box below. And until next time, bon appétit!